All right, back here at the Deutz D4506, uh, doing a quick run through on the lift unit uh, position control. This is actually a request from a viewer on another one of the videos that I posted on this tractor, asking in the comments section if I could make a video on how this um, unit operates. So yeah, if you have any questions on the tractor or the next thing you wanna see, I'm just gonna keep posting these videos. Definitely go below, uh, drop a comment, and let me know what you wanna see. And while you're there, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, especially that really helps me out and I appreciate it. So let's jump in, do a quick rundown on how this unit works. Sorry for the wind noise in the background, but it is well welcomed. It is a scorcher of a day out here at Labor Day 2023, and it is hot. Okay, so the first thing to, to note um, from the book is it says that if this uh, position control lever is all the way down here in the bottom um, unit, it's in float mode. It says it doesn't matter whether your selector is um, in draft or position control. When it's down there, it says that all the hydraulics are disabled and whatever you have in the back is able to float up and down. Right now, this machine would be in free float. All right, we'll go over position control next. All right, position control, your selector is down here locked into the L position. And then this is only to be used for implements which um, are basically run on the ground with wheels or or work above the ground or, or just into the ground. You know, you're not gonna use this for, for plowing. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you're in position control, you just grab your uh, position control lever here, and then you can just set it to whatever height you need and then your implement stays there. So like when I'm cutting with a sickle bar or, you know, raking hay, um, you know, I can just set it right where I need to be and, and lock it in there. Unfortunately, my machine is missing whatever stop used to exist um, to keep this position control lever put where you need it. Quick hack I found to work around that. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight grounding clamp for a welder. Um, it's got this nice uh, copper so it can tear stuff up too bad, but it's also got this little rounded piece. So this is my uh, position control stop. So I just set this wherever I need to go. That clamps right there. And then as I'm working, you know, with a hay or mowing or something, I can just slide this up. And, uh, you know, it definitely is good enough to uh, clamp, doesn't really damage anything. And, um, and it's a perfect uh, stop and quick to use. So if you're missing your uh, whatever, it's like a little star knob type thing that appears in the manual, um, mine's long gone. So uh, this is definitely a little quick hack to get your position control back and running. All right. Now until what we we're actually here to film. So the draft control is used when, you know, you're plowing or something and you're going across uneven terrain and you want the plow to follow at a consistent depth. You know, if you want to plow a foot into the ground, you want to plow a foot into the ground, even if you're going over some bumps and hills, you don't want the plow to, you know, be digging deep furrows or, or coming up out of the ground. So for the draft control, this selector lever goes up here, locks into the Z position. I don't know enough German to know what the Z or the L is. Yeah, if you do know what uh, the Z and the L stands for in Deutsch, uh, drop a comment below. I'd be curious to, to know that. Okay, so now for the process of how you get the draft control working. According to the manual, you set this to, you know, your, your draft position control. You start off with your implement, like your plow on the ground in free float. So basically it says to drive the unit forward until the implement is down at the depth that is desired. Um, and then you can, you can pull this lever up to set that depth. And then once it's there, it says, you know, hold it with your stop, which I don't have, you know, it's the clamp I just showed. So let's just say, you know, you want it to be right here. This would be the de depth that you're set at. Uh, then it says that the tractor can be driven and the draft pickup unit will keep that working depth constant, even if the ground is wavy. Um, the only caveat they have in there is that, you know, that's, this is all dependent on um, consistent ground um, soil resistance. So, you know, if the soil is going from rock hard to sand or something, the draft unit's not smart enough to pick that up. So that would confuse it. Um, but assuming your soil is consistent, uh, that's how it works. Okay. So how the tractor is actually able to pick up, um, the ground conditions to keep that, um, to keep your implement at the correct draft control that you set, everything is transmitted through the top link on your three point from your implement up through here. There's this huge spring and then lastly, there's this linkage. I got some hydraulic hoses, so it's a little buried, but this linkage comes up here, runs through, runs up and connects, and connects up here to, to the side of the tractor. Sorry, I've got a bunch of hydraulic hoses, so it's hard to see. But yeah, so so this is the linkage, here's the spring, and then here's your, your three-point top link connection. All right, so let's do a quick rundown to make sure that you, if you're trying to use draft position, it's actually working for you. So first of all, according to the manual, it says, Never, never touch, never adjust, never change anything on this linkage. I'm sure there's a service manual that actually has a process for, for running through and adjusting that, but on the start it says don't muck with that. Rundown on the numbering scheme according to the manual. 
bottommost, number one, middle, number two, top, number three. So for draft, according to the manual, the way I read it, for draft position control to be working, you have to be in either one or two with the top link for it to be enabled. So for number one, it says normal working, light jobs with heavy implements. Number two says that it's for heavy jobs with light implements. In the other pages, it also says high sensitivity, low sensitivity. So I would say just run through and, you know, pick the one that works best um, and, you know, play around with it and see which see whichever works best for whatever implement you're using in the field you're playing. Uh, number three here says this, uh, you know, which is where I have this unit you know, hooked up right now, the top one, um, says serves for uh, transportation jobs or when working with implements where no draft control is required. Looking at the way that this bracket pivots off here with the spring, you can see um, you're really not going to be getting any feedback uh, to this spring and linkage um, with this top unit. And then you can also kind of make sense the high and low sensitivity, you know, follows along, you know, low sensitivity here. You can see how far you're off your pivot point. You know, you're not going to be getting a ton of action on this huge spring here. And then lastly, you know, you're going to have your most moment arm off this bottom hole here. Going to be adjusting that spring the most and then um, tweaking that linkage and keeping that draft control where you need it. All right, final things. Uh, the manual mentions, um, you know, it says obviously that if you have these linkages blocked like this one, eh, yeah, I wouldn't call that blocked, but you know, if something's going on here and this thing's blocked and not free to move, um, you're not going to be getting any control signal back, so it won't work. So it says make sure this is free and clear. Again, that hose doesn't seem to really be on there, so it'd probably work. And then lastly, it says that, you know, if you have it on the high sensitivity and you're, you know, if you find the, I think the, the English and the languages, if you find the control impulses bothersome, um, move it up to the low sensitivity hole. So yeah, so there's your rundown. Um, draft is by far the most complicated. You have to be down in one of these two with your top link comes through this spring, pivoted off this bracket, through this linkage arm. Then we covered up here, having the selector here, control over there for position control, which is what I typically always use. You know, you're down here in the in the bottom, and then you just set it there, and that's the rundown. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And once again, you have anything you want to see on this tractor, just drop a comment below, and I'll, I'll do my best to get a video up and uh, get that info out to you. All right, well, take care and have a good one. Thanks for watching again.